You know, a lot of people ask me, why don't I cover or talk about a lot of video game content? Or why don't I play video games hardly ever, if not anymore? And there is a reason for that. Gaming is dead, ladies and gentlemen. It's been dead for a very, very long time. And I'm going to be real with y'all. If it ain't Mortal Kombat, I'm not playing it. If I'm just be keeping it simple with you guys. But, like, guys, gaming is so bad right now. I literally, past couple years, turned myself into an award winning console. Guys, the Al King 1000 Double R. I tell y'all, I went through the greatest software update. And then, on top of that, my brain, the actual video game, applied that to real life. And I mean, guys, like, Look at this. I couldn't do this a year ago. I mean, your boy's just coming a long way. I mean, I'm I'm showing out like, I mean, I'm an actual Avenger in real life, guys. Like, no joke. It's really been remarkable to watch and just go through this real life video game. But guys, in all seriousness, <sighs> the greatest time ever back when I truly played video games was back in the beautiful golden ages of the Xbox days. Xbox was when I just had a blast. And before I get into that, it's your boy Al King with Storm Dagger Films. Back on that again, this is Black Widow. Say hey, Black Widow. Black Widow says hey, y'all. And we back on that again for another banger for a video today for you guys. Oh, I've been working heavy hard on this one, guys, because it must be said, 2012 was the greatest year of gaming, and it changed my life for how I looked at video games in general. That was the year where I truly, truly fell in love with video games. I played video games throughout my childhood, but nothing hits different and more sweeter looking back at 2012. Especially in the Xbox days. Oh my gosh, man. Oh, I had such a blast. Now, one of the gems looking back in 2012 was the category of racing. Uh, guys, growing up in general, I love racing games. But I like racing games that took skill. This is why I always fell in love with games like Forza Motorsport and even Gran Turismo. I love those games. Because the realism and just the skill level it took to play it. You're not some fat dude behind the screen out there flinging bananas out there wet all the time. Oh, wow, look at me. Yeah, I'm a real racer. No, no, no. If I ever catch somebody saying that Mario Kart is the greatest racing game of all time. No, 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 no. This, you are a retro gamer at best. I'll give you that, but... Other than that, nah, nah, there ain't no real racing. Real racing is when you hop on Forza, when you hop on Gran Turismo, you put that thing in manual, you know how to shift the gears, you know how to, oh, you know how to fine tune every little detail in your car. Oh, that's when you're a real racer on gaming, in my personal opinion. But if you're not that and you're pulling up on some Mario Kart goofiness, no, no, no. Go on somewhere. But 2012 was that year, guys. And this is when I truly fell in love with racing games, and it's sad that this franchise has fallen to where it's at now. But Forza Horizon. Forza Horizon is the greatest racing game of all time. I don't care what anybody says. There was a couple flaws, but man, when this game came out, talk about the trailer. That trailer went crazy. Still to this day, never been a Forza Horizon trailer that good, in my personal opinion. They had some close ones, but the very first Forza Horizon, you're not touching it, guys. That, the physics were just beautiful. And then the soundtrack behind it and the destination, Colorado. I think it was Colorado Springs. Beautiful, guys. I mean, I loved everything about it. The only flaw, fatal flaw that I had with that game was just the fact that they didn't focus too much on the story. I wish they would have did more of the story because honestly they did they did a decent job with the story because usually for a game that came from you know legit Forza Motorsport which is just a racing game you know not no really story type of elements you're just basically racing and trying to level up and 
you know, yeah, <laughs> pretty much that's all to it. So when we saw Microsoft and I think Turn 10 Studios and also Playground Games, when we saw this approach to an open world like racing game and with the physics of a motorsports, guys, I lost it. And man, when I played this game, this was a game changer. Like, man, I, fell, I love Forza Horizon so much. This is one racing game I can play anytime. And honestly, I still keep my old Xbox 360 for this reason, because of how great 2012 was. And going forward, like a lot of older games, like, yeah, I know we got backwards capability and stuff, but it ain't nothing like playing it on the Xbox 360. It just takes me back to the good, to just the good old days of gaming. Like, man, Forza Horizon, that's one game that should get remastered. If if there is a game that deserves to be remastered, it is Forza Horizon. The greatest racing game of all time. Bring back the multiplayer, all that stuff. Like, bring it back because it, it's the best ever. But don't modernize it. I don't want this new garbage Forza Horizon type of setup where you can spin a wheel and win practically the fastest car in the game off of one rip. No, do not add that in there. And also keep the physics of the original Forza Horizon, please. I don't want this new physics in there. And then on top of that, another thing I don't want, when it comes down to checkpoints, the first Horizon was the only one that did it right. The other ones, if I barely missed the flag and just barely on the check part, like Mark, like I ended up losing. Like literally like, oh, I gotta go restart because I barely missed the checkpoint. I hate that about the new Forza Horizon games. Like I miss when I can just kind of cut around and really you know, yeah, just, just just really, you know, get to take the shortcuts and stuff on a track. And it was just smoke, you know. As long as I'm near the smoke, that means I got the checkpoint. But these new ones, oh no, I got to hit this ribbon flag just to qualify as a checkpoint. Hated that about the new uh, Forza Horizon games. But Forza Horizon is king of all racing games. If you say Mario Kart is better leave this channel at once you are forbidden never return but anyway moving on to the next category and that is first person shooters now looking back guys I'm, ooh, I'm trying to debate on which one I should do first but you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I gotta talk about one of the greatest action hero video games of all time with one of the greatest villains of all time and guys when i first played this game man i'll tell y'all you know this was the game that made me realize you know i'm not just a little boy but i can tap into some serious masculinity and cause some serious mayhem out here on these streets and this was that game guys far cry 3 this is the greatest, if we're talking about story and just how much fun I can have just within like an open world story game, this is the most fun like video game I think I've ever played. I love Far Cry in general, but nothing hits like Far Cry 3 and 2012 was that year. When that game dropped, oh my goodness, man. What a beautiful time to be alive. Man, like, I mean, I just, I get chills just thinking about it, guys. Far Cry 3 was just that game. Greatest villain, Voss Montenegro, played by uh, Michael Mondo. Oh my goodness, man. Killed it as that character. And then on top of that, a lot of people hate the protagonist, but I'm going to be real with y'all. Jason Brody was, a, like, dude, he was a dope character. Like, to go from literally just a scared, whiny dude and literally go to a beast at the end. Like, bro, dude went savage throughout that game. Like, oh man, nothing hits different like Far Cry 3. That is one game I can play for generation after generation. And looking back, guys, truthfully, like, I still got my old Xbox 360, like I was saying earlier. That's one of the games I'll go back to and just go play because it just, it hits so beautifully just playing it on the 360 the golden area of gaming and but don't get me wrong i have played it on the xbox one and stuff but at the end of the day man you know back in the day when the uh, xbox 360 servers were still on 
Like I used to love hopping on that multiplayer and just going forward with that. Cause guys, that multiplayer went crazy. Like I know Far Cry ain't known for their multiplayer, but that multiplayer was pretty dope. And I love how they told literally a totally different story outside of Far Cry 3 and they made it like a multiplayer and you can like play with your friends. That was a dope style of gaming guys. I really truly love that. And, and it's crazy how Far Cry pretty much went downhill. And, and, and it's crazy too because like Far Cry was one of those franchises like they just, it started off great but after 3, 4, four was decent but they really didn't evolve much. Even with Far Cry 6. It still felt very same, very similar. It didn't blow me away. And even the story just, stories just went down a bit, you know? I will say Far Cry 6 was decent and I love the DLCs. The, honestly, that should have been the whole game from the beginning, if I'm being real with y'all. Like, having all the villains come back. And you get to play with them. Uh, uh, let, me, let me rephrase that, that didn't come out right. <laughs> And you get to play as them throughout the entire, um, you know, missions and stuff. Like guys, that mission where like you got you got to play as boss, and then you got to know when you got to play as Joseph C. Like guys, that should have been the whole video game for Far Cry 6 within itself, because that was a brilliant idea right there. I hate that it was just a DLC, but man, guys, that was that was a crazy gaming moment, and just. Oh man, gaming history, guys, I love it. Far Cry 3 was that game, and I tell y'all, I, I, I feel like a savage every time I play that game. You know, that's the type of game, guys, you can just, oh, and my favorite part <laughs> was when they were burning the um, Zaza fields and you got that flamethrower. Man, oh my goodness, like, I know I was 12 back in the day, but boy, if I was 21 back in 2012, I'll feel like a savage out there. If you know, I'll feel like a savage out there playing that game there, y'all. But guys, Far Cry 3 is king. You ain't touching it. And I really hope Far Cry can turn the franchise around and really make it something great moving forward because stories have just went down. Yeah, it's gaming in general has went down, but Far Cry 3, deserves this respect and shout out to the greatest villain of all time Voss Montenegro but leads me now to my final destination of this video this was the game that literally gave me some of my greatest moments in video game history some of the funniest moments in my video game history some I met some great friends throughout this video game history going up with this video game right here and that is Halo 4 I love Halo in general, but I was, I ain't gonna lie guys, I was pretty late to playing Halo, and this was my first Halo game I ever played before I went back to go play the other ones. And I tell y'all, nothing hits like Halo 4. Even when I play the newer ones, Halo 4 is done so beautifully, and heck, this was back in a time where, like, there was real beef growing up between people who play Halo and Call of Duty. Y'all remember that beef? I don't know how heavy it is now, but I remember back in the earlier days when I was growing up, that was a big beef. You say Halo is better than Call of Duty, people look at you sideways, and then, like, you would start a civil war if you was growing up in school at the time, but, you know, but I ain't gonna lie, guys, like, I seen Call of Duty players, diehard Call of Duty fans, when they played Halo 4 for the first time, they even had to give they props be like, hey man, I ain't gonna lie, this just hit different, y'all. But Halo 4 was that game. I mean, the graphics was beautiful. Even when I look back to this day, the graphics kind of, you know, looked still pretty decent. Like some of the cutscenes were just done so well. And Master Chief went haywire, and then the custom maps got some of the greatest moments was when I was building my own maps. And I invited my friends, like guys, I had such a blast on Halo 4. And then the multiplayer was just beautiful. I remember I went on a tired match. I was getting everybody. I was up in that, um, I think I was in a Mantis. I was stumping out people in the matches, won the whole thing. Then I went another match. I was in a tank, uh, getting everybody. And then on top of that, I was the type of gamer. I love teabagging. So, you know, if I get you, and especially if I'm winning, oh yeah, I'm gonna be teabagging everybody. And then on top of that, I love that good old free-for-all. 
Man, I was teabagging everybody out there. And the way I used to do it too, <laughs> y'all gonna laugh at the way how I used to say it, but like, <laughs> the way I used to be online with my friends, I used to be like, teabag. Every time I teabag somebody, <laughs> like, well, now scratch that. Every time I used to pull off assassination, I'd be like, after I get them, I'd be like, teabag. Yeah, guys, like, I had people rolling. I had some of the funnest moments in my entire life. Well, I'm not scratch that. Funnest moments in my entire life on gaming <laughs> on Halo 4, guys. I mean, I just, I get chills just thinking about it. Man, what a fun time for gaming. Halo 4 just hit different, and the story was just awesome. And then on top of that, you know what's crazy? <laughs> Halo 4 was like, I feel kind of like, well, no, scratch that. Halo 4 was like my, probably my second or third M-rated game I ever played. Because at the time, I don't know why, I just wasn't really into like shooters and stuff, you know, growing up. But then 2012 hit and I saw Halo, I don't know, it just caught my eye and then I saw a lot of my friends playing it and I just fell in love with the franchise ever since. And I went back to all the other ones and boy, I just, I love Halo, man. And my favorite weapon of all time was that dang on incineration cannon. Oh my goodness, man. My friends used to be terrified when I come out with that incineration cannon. Like, oh man, that was that that was the good old days. In fact, I got tagged some of my friends on Instagram. I used to play, uh, you know, we also used to play together on um, Halo 4. Cause that was a great time. <laughs> Between that and Halo 3 and, and Forza Motorsport, Forza Horizon, man. With them were the golden days right there, y'all. But guys, that's all I got to say. 2012 was the greatest game of luck. Uh, Greatest year of gaming in history. I don't care what anybody says. Y'all let me know what y'all think. It's your boy Al King with Storm Dagger Films. Do you agree? Do you, um, do you agree? Disagree? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll be catching y'all next video. Black Widow says bye. Say bye, Black Widow. Black Widow says bye, y'all. We'll be catching y'all next video.